We got a big guest with a big board today, right, Josh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are gonna get me on a longboard for the first time today. And showing up in uh, just a few minutes, we should have someone who's pretty damn good at it. How many boards you got with him? Two. How big does it look? Giant. What am I gonna be riding? Maybe a little small in his arms. <laughs> giant man, giant board. It's gonna look a little big on me though, huh? It is. <laughs> good to meet you. Good to meet you. <laughs> So I'm excited. What do you what'd you bring for me? Uh, I just brought a couple different long boards, kind of a more of kind of an any condition board and then more of kind of a beach break board and throw you on one of them and <laughs> see, see if what I can we get. see yeah. if I can not pearl every time. Oh, it should be all right. So my experience with longboarding, I've tried it uh, twice. Yep. And by twice, I mean I rode a board two times. Yep. And the first time, I nosedived and landed on my chest and got sad. And the second time, I nosedived and landed on my face and got mad. And oh. the guy that loaned me the board, I said, take this effing board back. I want my small board back. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. <laughs> Which is interesting because I kind of thought initially, I'm like, wow, longboard would probably be easier. Yeah. Right. Just because it's easier to catch a wave. Yeah. yeah. Everybody, it seems like, but for me, it's it's so much about feel, and I can feel the entirety of a small board beneath yeah. me. Like I know where everything is, um, and I get up on the big board, and I just didn't have concept of where the end was or where anything was. And I think I don't know what I was doing, but I was I was just pearling. No, no, it makes time. sense when you explain it like that. It makes total sense. So what do we? Can I can I feel what we got? Which yeah, one yeah. be on? Um, I'd say this one just because hearing you explain that, this is a. Yeah. 9-0. It's really like a performance. Can, you, can someone take this? Brooks, yeah, it's what they call a high performance longboard. Okay. But it's got a ton of kick in the nose. It is not nearly as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. No, it's pretty light. Okay, so it does, it does. It does have a good amount of rocker. This is a, this is very, so the one I rode that one time was like a 9-6 and it was wood grain and really heavy. Yeah, this so is, this is. What's that say? Surf ride. Sur oh, surf ride. Is this is this a Taylor Jensen board? This is a TJ Pro. Yeah. Oh, so this is awesome. like what I rode to my world titles. Really? It's all about performance, basically. It's a boxy, right? It is. It's built in um, Thunderbolt technology, which is kind of a new thing that Firewire is doing. But um, what's the? How wide is it? Twenty-two and an eight. Okay. So I ride. What do I normally ride? Twenty-one and change. So it'll feel about as well. I'm just trying to get a sense of, it's all gonna be like feel and repetition. Feel, yeah. um, the other question is, do you duck dive something like this? Uh, I can. <laughs> yeah. I'm 6'5 I'm and 200 plus pounds, okay. so yeah, I can. He's got me by a but, few pounds. Um, not really. Generally what you do is you just turn over all right. and hold onto the board and the water will just run straight over the top of your board. And all then right. you flip back over. Turtle dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I guess we'll suit up, head out okay. there, and uh, good. I'll learn by learn by uh, falling and trial, and I'm really excited to try. So we headed out, and Taylor gave me some last-minute instructions, but nothing was preparing me for the amount of board that I was sitting on. My first wave, I had really no feeling of what I was doing, so it was a total miss. Second wave, same deal. Almost. Yeah. And even from shore, Banana and Brooks could see that I was having issues feeling my way around on this board. Yeah, he doesn't know exactly, well, I don't know, I'm not in his head, but it doesn't seem like he knows where to put his weight or something. Third wave. That's it, right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's okay. I really had no concept of how much board was in front of me, so I think I dug a rail there. And when I found Taylor again, I said, if I miss the next one, I'm gonna start to feel really self-conscious. So, next wave. Go, Pete, go. Yeah! Nice. There we go. Sweet. I mastered longboarding. <laughs> and now the fun can begin for everyone.
Brave drop. It's your oh. thing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think you almost hit your drone. Nice. I think Josh is enjoying his day off from coaching. <laughs> I don't hate longboarding. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you can't blame me. My first two experiences were chest into the board, face into the board. Yeah. Um, so I was expecting some pain today, but that actually ended up being super fun. Nice. And uh, I, we were talking about while we were out there, I think a lot of our audience uh, doesn't surf. And so they think that a board size, you know, bigger, smaller, what's the difference? There's a huge difference. Uh, it was, it's like, if you can learn to drive a car, does not mean you can drive an 18-wheeler. And I felt like I was <laughs> on an 18-wheeler there today. But uh, it took me a minute to get the, the feeling of it. And um, you guys were kind of coaching me through where to, where to be, where to pop, how to feel it. And it's a great feeling. It's a mixture of coaching and trial and error. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of error, a little bit of trial. So when, when, you, when you first started, were you, like, when did you grab... Did you start longboard or did you transition to longboard? I started on like what they call a mid-length or an egg now, like an eight-foot longboard basically. And then as I grew and growing up in Coronado where the waves are pretty bad and small a lot of the time, I picked up sort of bigger and bigger boards and yeah, longboarding just kind of, I guess, I don't know, something about the lifestyle that longboarding has and more hanging out at the beach and a little bit more laid back. Wait, so longboarders are more chill? It's kind of just a more chill atmosphere, especially in the competitive side of things. Like it's not so cutthroat soccer dad yeah. mentality. Like it's much more of a laid back, like, yeah, like share waves and have fun. And you know, just, just has, I don't know. It's just a different feel. Well, these guys are always talking about how chill and laid back I am. So maybe, <laughs> maybe it's a sign. He's so uptight. Never know. <laughs> I'm not uptight. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on the drone, Brooks, but my very first wave that I rode, I sunk the entire longboard, like sunk it. And then because it had over 60 liters, I think I like floated back up. Yeah. And I was asking Taylor, I was like, is that normal? Do you sink the board every time? He's like, mm, no. Uh, not really, but. Uh... <laughs> but if it worked for you. <laughs> if it works, it works. It doesn't matter. That was super fun though.